Message to all souls and lightworkers. Editor's note. The following writing as communicated by Soltech, was transmitted directly to, and received by a skilled scribe chosen by the lighted cosmic hosts of God for mankind. At this most pivotal time, in order to help assist and awaken all souls and especially to all those souls still slumbering in the great awakening process currently unfolding worldwide. Survive and pull through Earth Shan's monumental planetary transition and massive cataclysmic rebalancing. Commander Soltek, the author of this message, is part of the magnificent team of advanced overseers of Earth's planetary transition, the Galactic Federation of Light a massive team, called none other than, the very host of God. Despite the the fact it was first printed and published in the June 2002 issue of the Spectrum newspaper, many were not ready to hear it, and thus have not awakened to truth. It's now about time that you ones do. We will take this opportunity to repost this important communicated message from the head geophysical commander, as he weaves and shares his great wisdom and valuable insights to those who seek and walk the lighted divine path of truth. So without lingering any longer, let us now begin. It's always darkest before the dawn. An important message of higher guidance and knowledge. By Commander Soltek, the 24th of April 2002. Good morning, and thank you for hearing my call. It is I, Ceres Anthonius Tonios Soltek, here with you in service to the radiant light of Creator God. There are others present, as well, among them Isu Jesus, Emmanuel, Sananda, as we are all watching and monitoring events on your world continuously. It is very important in these days that we keep the spiritual messages going forth, as many on your planet are searching for something of meaning, something to grasp onto in the present uncertain times. You see, when times appear the darkest, many will turn inward and will find God, and true enlightenment, and the peace which accompanies that personal connection to Creator Source. Your fellow servants of light need these messages as well, for even they have times of concern and wonder if all this is true. You have a saying, that it is always darkest before the dawn. Well, Chellis, students, it is nearly dawn. For many years we have sent messages, through our many scribes on your planet, on many subjects. Yet, there has been a thread of continuity that has run throughout all the messages, and that has been instructional information about the time in which you now find yourselves experiencing. There is... At present, an extremely fearful energy emanating from the inhabitants of planet Earth, as each day passes and the outcome of events seemingly grows more unsure. You have wars and battles raging around your globe, and Mother Earth herself is reflecting the uncertainty of her inhabitants. There is a great increase in the number and magnitude of earthquakes, many centered in the localities of the wars and fighting. Your planet's magnetic field is fluctuating, and even your scientists are now admitting that it is very likely that the magnetic poles are about to flip. The weather patterns have changed drastically. You are experiencing a shortening of your spring and autumn seasons, and a lengthening of your summer and winter. Your planet's ice caps are melting and breaking up. Strange mostly man-made, diseases are cropping up and taking a tremendous number of lives. Your skies are crisscrossed with what you have labeled as chemtrails. Temperatures of your planet's oceans are rising and a lot of sea life is dying. 
Many freshwater species have been mutating into unrecognizable things and dying from strange diseases. And the dark energies are running rampant upon the earth, causing all sorts of trouble and mischief, and using all these things to cultivate fear in the hearts of many ones, until mankind feels utterly hopeless. Though a small handful of your planet's scientists are starting to understand that Earth is a living entity with a consciousness, and that she will reflect and react to her inhabitants. Unfortunately for your world they are coming to this factual awareness too late in the game. For that which has been set in motion is, at this stage, past the point of no return. The majority of Earth's inhabitants still need the physical experience to learn, they will not listen to higher guidance, for they only believe in that which they can see, hear, taste, touch, or smell. These ones have denied all but their physical senses, so it is with the physical senses that they must experience, and eventually learn and learn they shall, but their lessons may be bitter. We do understand why you may be apprehensive or even fearful. However, these are all things we have discussed with you over the last 15 or so years. We did this so that those of you who were listening to your higher guidance would be prepared for this very time. We told you then that your world would appear to be coming apart, and that fearfulness would be rampant. Well, Chellis, you have arrived. But, recall also that we told you that you would not be alone in these times. And remember also that all is possible. You are only limited by your own limited thoughts and beliefs. There are no limitations with God. As the dark, adversarial, forces push harder and harder, you will continue to see an escalation of all things you consider to be of a negative energy nature, like wars, diseases, killing, greed, fearfulness, etc. And so long as the majority of people on your planet live, focus, only in the physical realm and believe only in physical actions, an eye for an eye type of mentality, the present negative cycle will not only continue, but will grow ever stronger. Let me speak for a moment about peace. All are so quick to want peace, but the majority believe that peace can only be obtained by keeping an enemy at bay, such as by having bigger guns, or by killing off the enemy. Chellis, this is not peace. Furthermore, peace is not simply the absence of war. Peace is a state of being, a state of consciousness if you will. In all your known history, there has never been true peace on your world. And until the state of consciousness of peace has been achieved by those on your world, you will never experience peace. The best you can hope for is the absence of war. But, you have never had a time in which there were no weapons of destruction pointed at your enemies. Peace through the threat of assured mutual destruction is an oxymoronic statement. And yet, all the while, your world continues to chase its own tail in trying to amass as much wealth and related material possessions as possible, believing the lie which says that your value or worth is based upon what you have, instead of what you are. The glitter and the glitz are very intoxicating to those who believe that lie, and it has become an addiction to have as much as you can possibly gather to you. But it is never enough. Others, those who know that they are more than their outward, physical existence, are repulsed by what they are witnessing. You once see all the enticement as a great distraction, and pray daily that your world will wake up. Believe me when I tell you that your prayers are seen going up from your planet as great shafts of light, and they do reach to the farthest ends of the universe. 
your prayers are heard, and your prayers are answered. But, you must understand that those who desire the opposite are allowed their own free will, as well, and they must be allowed to learn in whatever way they see fit. These ones, as you have pointed out, react out of fear and disbelief when they are told about a world in which everyone is truly equal, where there is no money, no gold, a world in which there is no disease and no want. A world where you will live to be at least 1000 years old. On that world, you do not get up and go to a job every morning to gather a paycheck. And yet everything that needs to be accomplished gets accomplished, because it is a world where everyone desires to do their part. Everyone is valued and honored for the unique aspects of creator that they are, and not for what they have, or what they can get. It is the world that many of you ones have dreamed of, and have memories of. For many of you have come from such worlds, to this one, to assist in the great awakening and in this upward planetary dimensional transition. And, because you desire your prayers to be answered, and your desires and requests to be granted, likewise those who do not want that world must also be granted their desires and requests. Those ones will be given the choice of leaving here or staying, and most will choose to remain to continue on with their life's course and their karmic path. They will require more lifetime experiences attached to earth before they are ready to move on. Those of you who find living on your planet more and more difficult and unacceptable, will be offered the option of leaving or remaining as well. All is by choice, and there is no coercion. You were told a very long time ago that there are many, many places in the universe, a place that is suitable for everyone. Some of those places are not yet visible to your eyes, as they lie in parallel dimensions, just slightly offset from your present dimension of experience by a few seconds of time in a manner of speaking. But they are very very real, and very very near. And very soon, those of you whose frequency is increasing will be able to see them with your physical eyes, for as your frequency increases, you will be able to see beyond your present limited perceptual range. I tell you now a truth, that time is very near, indeed. And for those of you who have family members of the four-legged kind, fear not. Those family members will not be left behind. There is more than enough room for all, two-legged and four-legged alike. The time of your service on earth is drawing to a close very rapidly, and your journey there is just about over. As events accelerate, your effectiveness will begin to wane, and we will not require that you remain there, for we would not jeopardize you once. The hearts of men are turning cold, and a time is coming very soon when they will close their eyes and ears and hearts to any messages from the higher realms. There is coming a time when people will curse and blame God for all their woes, and will want to persecute those who will continue to believe in God. They will refuse to take the responsibility for their own existence. They shall not be able to comprehend the fact that the world in which they live is exactly the world they have created. When your economic structure finally crumbles, and the weather no longer yields rainfall upon the fields, and food disappears from the grocery store shelves, instead of falling on their knees in prayer, they will shake their fists at heaven. You have been told that we are among you, and indeed that is true. Isu, Jesus Sananda, Archangel, Michael, Archangel Gabriel, and many others of the host of God are very close to your planet. I will only repeat it for emphasis. Know that you are never alone.
Know that God always protects his faithful servants. Your prayers are heard. Your prayers are answered. You have asked that the kingdom of heaven come to earth, and that we intervene in the course your world is taking. We ask that you have patience just a little longer, Chellis. The sorting out and cleaning out is proceeding exactly as it should. The fact that events are accelerating is evidence of that. Continue on for a little while longer, as you have been. Do not despair, and do not stop the service unto one another. When you feel the pressures of your daily lives to be too much, lean upon one another, and share in the burdens. It is the way it should be, and it is the way it shall be. Do not be too proud to ask for help. It is not a sign of weakness, it is a sign of maturity. Do not stop praying for your world. You may not think it is making a difference, but it is. We see the effectiveness, and soon you shall also. Many glorious and wondrous things await you ones who have been serving. God never reneges on his promises, and the reward for your service awaits you. So, in closing, let me only say this, when you see all the events coming, such as earth changes taking place, and all the battles and wars, and all the economic woes, know that these are the things that signal the end of the current age on earth. And that the new age is very, very near. And look up, for you will see many things in your skies that you have never seen before. When you see these things, know that we are there with you. All is unfolding as it should. Rest now, and be at peace. I am Ceres Anthonius Tonios Soltek, and I thank you for taking the time to sit and write these words. I am in service unto Holy God of Light and the Creation, and so are you. Thank you. Salu. Source, The Spectrum Newspaper, June 2002 Issue, Volume 3, Number 12, Page 58 and 59. FYI, The Spectrum Newspaper can be regarded as class notes for a graduate-level course in the truth that no university would dare teach. Editor's Note, To All My Listeners and Viewers Please check out the description section of this video for the above source link and further comments, along with access to the recommended starting set of Phoenix journals, as recommended by Commander Hatton to read first. The journals help unravel and clarify the many lies, tamperings and misconceptions foisted upon the masses by those who seek to control the thoughts, perceptions and actions of others from generation to generation. Especially those of the true Christed life teachings of Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda. For uninformed readers, the new name and title of Sananda is an earned level of utmost respect and achievement for the accomplished and highly revered master teacher, meaning one with God. As a matter of fact, even your mistranslated and tampered with Bibles mentions that he would have a new name upon his return. The Phoenix Journals are the word of truth given forth to mankind from the higher realms of light, during this most critical transition time upon Earth's evolution to a higher dimension. Please like, share and subscribe to help support my YouTube channel, and as always have a wonderful day. In love and light. Thank you.